Hello everyone, I am going to make a presentation on safety instrumented system proof testing and this topic will be on needs of proof test. Uh, video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly watch and subscribe to the channel. In safety instrumented system, proof testing is very critical to ensure all safety instrumented system sensors, logic solver and final control elements are functioning healthily as designed. Various international standards such as IEC, ISA and ANSI governs the requirements of this proof testing. Okay, what is proof testing? Proof testing is a test performed to reveal undetected faults in a safety instrumented system. So, in case of any instrument system deterioration, the system can be restored to its designed functionality as per IEC 61511 standards. Due to the continuous operation and um, uh, harsh environmental conditions and the process uh, which the sensors are uh, handling, which, uh, which is passing through the sensors or the final elements, uh, they may get deteriorated over a period of time. So, uh, for the safety instrumented system, the proof testing is an essential one. To ensure that the instruments are functioning as desired because all these safety instrumented system sensors, final elements and uh, uh, logic solvers, they are supposed to work uh, quickly and uh, safeguard the system and plants in case of any hazardous conditions happening in the plant. So, high importance should be given for the safety instrumented systems, its components to work healthily. So, this uh, hence it is governed by uh, so many international standards such as IEC, ISA and ANSI. Okay, why proof testing is important? Proof testing is crucial for the plant's safe operation without any potential hazard due to lack of all instruments performance as per the SIS design intent. Proof testing supports early detection of failure so that failure can be attended as quickly as possible and maintain the SIS functionality much more reliable. Proof testing helps to do the early detection of any failure. In the event of not performing proof test on the SIS instruments as per the SIS calculations, it may lead to dangerous failure which may eventually end up in catastrophic events. So, due to some reasons X, Y or Z and the plants are running and the instruments are not able to be isolated and uh, the proof test is missed, but supposingly there is any demand coming as a um, safety requirement and the instruments did not work. The pressure sensor which is supposed to sense the pressure and give an indication to the logic solver to give a closure to the final containment wall, this sensor did not work. Or either its electronics failed or its sensing components like diaphragm or something is failed. So, it cannot be detected. If the testing is missed, the failure, internal failure cannot be detected. So, which may eventually lead to the hazardous situation to happen. Instead of preventing this hazardous scenario, the failure of the instruments may, may result in the hazardous conditions to happen and result in the particular section of the plant or complete plant to trip. Or it may, you know, in most cases, may lead into some uh, fatalities or injuries to the employees, etc. Okay. Regular proof testing of critical components enhances the mean time MTP of stand for mean time between failure of a system for two different reasons. Early detection of developing problems. Proof testing may reveal weakness developing in components, indicating the need for replacement in near future. So this supports to indicate any failure and uh, maintenance teams can take an early action to replace the instrument or repair as required. Regular exercise of components. Proof testing increases the system reliability is by realizing the beneficial effects of regular function. And the testing ensures that the reliability getting increased because during the proof testing any hidden failures are getting revealed so that the safety instrument systems are always made available to act in case of any emergencies, any hazardous conditions. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we will just go over a graph. Here it is depict depicting how the proof, uh, proof testing can improve. If a, This is a, on the x-axis we have the uh, time running and on the y-axis we have the probability of failure and demand. 
see of the time increases the probability of failure on demand goes on increasing so that the uh, possibility of the dangerous failures getting increased so uh, for each system there is an average pfd based um, which is to be maintained and the dangerous undetected failure we fail to perform the uh, proof test in time there is a chance of getting the dangerous undetected failure so whenever we do the proof testing as per the calculations and do proper maintenance the healthiness of the ins instrument and uh, reliability of the system is getting ensured so the system gets back to this original state which is in a good healthy condition so this has to be ensured always okay what proof testing covers proof testing cover co full end to end loop testing including settings parameters and trip points so in the proof testing the internal settings of the sensor electronics and parameters some flow meters and all there are some constant parameters key factors like there some setting parameters are there or there could be some damping for some instruments with a small time delay all these kind of things has to be re verified as per the design conditions and the trip points when the logic solver the trip points will be rechecked because when I mean, during the plant commissioning there will be some set value which is set for the uh, tripping of the particular system but during the operation there could be some reasons which may call for slightly adjusting the set points that has to be within the limits and has to be ensured uh, updated in the records supposing a person goes for the um, proof testing in future and he sees a different value of the trip points between the document and the actual available in the logic solver he may get confused so records also has to be maintained properly so proof testing the maintenance person can ensure that the settings are done as per the design intent the in service proof testing method should also include inspection of hardware to ensure that it is in good condition and meets safety installation requirement where necessary some cases um, especially in the on off walls and all it is not possible to do dropping of the wall dropping means removing from the pipeline and taking it to the workshop do the servicing do the wall stroke testing and bringing back to the operation bringing back to the line sometimes it may not be possible uh, due to the time limitations or manpower limitation etc so it is recommended to do an online testing but when the plants are running there shall be professional arrangements in the piping facility to make a bypass of the loop to create keep continuing the operation and do the proof testing on the safety instrumented system valve that has to be made sure this requires suitable systems for hazardous area inspections equipment condition inspection and predictive and preventive maintenance procedures so these are all the cut the categories to be covered during the maintenance proof testing so here we are just seeing some brush transmitters is getting calibrated or getting tested during the proof testing so the instrument technician or instrument foreman is adjusting the all the connections and ensuring that the systems are in healthy conditions to continue its operation okay the low project upgrade and modification activities involving safety instrument system requires to perform test proof testing during the uh, plant running there may be some requirement to add some additional protection features so safety instrument system for that particular plant area may be added or some additional uh, protection layer may be in getting included meaning some ad additional instrumentation may get included which is involving in the safety instrument system or by uh, basic process control system protection so whenever any project upgrade happening there are chances of the below points introducing the new process lines involving safety instrument system instruments changing the safety instrument system configuration adding flush and drain valves where safety instrument system transmitters final control elements are in place adding black 
block and bypass walls with upstream downstream isolations these different categories require proof testing to be done uh, whenever any changes in the facility is being taken up okay during cis design proper care to be taken after finalizing the safety instrument system configuration based on the pha slash lopa outcome which may end up in the below items pha stands for process hazard analysis lopa stands for layer of protection analysis so based on these studies so there could be some additional requirements on the safety input system as below addition of redundancy instruments like one out of two two out of three this may be required introduction of bypass valves for testing if new on off or control valves are provided this may be required to provide a bypass wall requirement design for automated online testing there is a facility to do an online testing by closing the uh, isolation valves provided there is enough bypass, bypass arrangement for the process to continue operations necessity of special tools or equipment like partial stroke test devices for the final control elements on off valves there is an additional device known as partial stroke testing device which is built into the actuator body so whenever any proof testing is required and the system cannot be isolated so the partial stroke test will be done meaning the wall will be moved from its full open position to small little closing like it may close for 5% or max 10% and then get back to full open motion which is 100 percentage so the this facility is being done using a partial stroke test device and inclusion of software to collect the data when online check is possible so in the new modern instruments there is a feature to do the diagnostics and all so this is be adding software accessibility needs to perform testing quite important to do and create an accessibility in case of any uh, instruments need to be tested so this is the accessibility needs which is mentioned so these are all the few requirements which may come up to do the proof testing during any project modifications or upgrades etc okay thank you